Hi guys, welcome to It's a Live Podcast, being here, hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. Now, first thing I want to talk about today is an exciting new record label that I have discovered in the last week or so. They're called Disposable America from Boston, Massachusetts. Hopefully you guys can see this on the old iPad there. Um, now, I discovered them through a post that Johnny Cupcakes made on Instagram regarding a former employee of his who'd been working with him for about five years and who was off to do his record label, who also did like pins and other such exciting things. And I thought, oh, okay, record, record label, always, you know, I sort of check it out, could be something good. And it turned out to be this Disposable America. Now, they do a lot of things on cassette, pretty much it's all cassette, vinyl, and then they also do pins and t-shirts. Now, my favorite pick of the bunch, and I really highly recommend you go and check these guys out because it's, everything I've listened to is pure, unadulterated gold. First thing I would recommend you look at is, a, a, I think, a demo tape by a band called Funeral Advantage. Now, I know it doesn't sound like the most cheering name in the world, but if you like The Cure, if you like Morrissey, even if you're, if you're a fan of James Eha, who used to play in The Smashing Pumpkins, check this out. Demo by Funeral Advantage is absolutely fan-bloody-tastic. I've also listened to a few other albums on here, one by a band called Ghost Thrower, which got me because of the name and the cover of the album has people in pumpkin masks, so I was like, yes, I'll have some of that. That is absolutely outstanding. There's also another um, band called Cripple and Casio, an album called With High Regards. Kind of sounds like old Blondie, um, with a lot of shouting. Um, but it's actually, it's absolutely beautiful, lovely music. Now, I will be doing an order from these guys very soon, so once I have done so, I will pop up a video with, um, with my review of how the customer service was, um, how the shipping was, and obviously how everything looks when it gets there, because I've seen um, some amazing reviews from people about how these guys do their packaging and their shipping and stuff, and it just looks like um, a really nice, you know, friendly, fan-focused label. So um, this is saying this is my definitely my top recommendation of the week is Disposable America, Funeral Advantage demo, Ghost Through a self-titled album, With High Regards by Cripple and Casio and there's a whole bunch of other stuff on there. I've listened to pretty much a little bit of everything and pretty much everything on there I love. Alrighty, so now we're going to talk about the album of the week and also the song of the week. Now this also uh, doubles up as the first foray into my big box of science stuff sitting over there. Now this is um, going to be a series I'm going to be doing, just delving in there, grabbing out something every week, talking to you guys about it, giving you a little bit of insight into who, why, where, how I came across it. Now this first thing I'm going to talk to you about is this wonderful album here called Obsession by a band called 18 Visions from California. This came out in 2004. Now this one is a CD and DVD version which I got a few years ago. Comes in this awesome slipcase which has the you know, heart can out of it. Very cool. Now this one um, was signed by the late uh, Mick Morris, also known as Mick Death. Um, now this I got when uh, Mick was selling a few things on eBay. Um, I had a look and this I've um, this version of this with the with the DVD which has the making of Obsession on there I've wanted for years since 2004 when it came out it was probably about 2000 and I'm trying to think when it was about 2011 when I finally managed to get this version of this and he was selling one he said look hey I'll sign anything you guys want if you you know if you're buying stuff and I bought this I also bought a sampler of Obsession which had the songs Obsession I Let Go and Tower of Snakes on it. It was cool as well. It's three songs, exactly the same as they are on this album, which of course I'll put a picture up on Instagram, a little bit of a clearer picture for you. Um, but this is just one of those albums that I've loved ever since it came out. And I saw an ad for this in uh, Revolver magazine, and I just thought, hey, that looks really interesting. These guys, you know, these guys look a little strange. <laughs> and yeah, it just looks like an interesting album. My favourite song from this album is the song I Let Go. Now, this is a song that if you watch the video it's sort of a it's based around a party sort of a new year's new year's eve party but sort of more of a party for the end of the world um but for me that song uh, really hit home when i was going through various relationship issues as we all do it's always you know those music that sort of seems to bring me out of things and that was just one of those songs you know that really helped me out so as i say album of the week is obsession by 18 visions song of the week i let go by 18 visions and first first issue of my sign stuff so i hope you guys like that one um if there's anything 
that I talk about that you want more information about, um, that I, or you want to ask a question that I don't cover, either tweet me or email me again, links will be down below, and just let me know if there's anything like I say else you want to know about these things. Right guys, so we're off on our way to Bergfjell, it's going to be my uh, first time doing a vlog about uh, food, so hopefully you guys enjoy it, and I will see you soon. Hey guys, almost at Burger Fuel, one of my absolute favourite places in Auckland, well, and anywhere really, to get a burger. I'm not sure that I'll be able to vlog much in Burger Fuel itself, but as soon as I get home with the food, I'll definitely show you guys what, uh, what we've gone to eat today. I'm getting something for myself, and also for my fiancé as well. I'm just walking through the car parks, trying not to get hit by cars, and I will see you guys very soon. Actually, there's Burger Fuel right there. So we're almost there, I'm just going to vlog with you until I can get in there, I'm going to turn my camera up once I'm in there, which is how I feel about me vlogging in there right now, but I will see you guys very soon for some lunch, bye! And here we have lunch day from Burger Fuel, I've gotten a burger called The Bastard, now The Bastard is 100% pure grass fed New Zealand beef, melted cheddar, bacon, beetroot, juicy mango and avocado. Now personally I have the tomato taken out because I'm not a big tomato fan, but you can leave it in there should you wish. Now for my fiance, I've gotten her the sea and cheese and I always get her extra pickles as she loves the pickle. Now this has 100% New Zealand grass fed beef, melted cheddar, grated parmesan, lettuce, onions and tomatoes and also of course pickles and also of course for this extra pickles. And we've also gotten today uh, their spud fries which are basically like your general everyday fries just a heck of a lot better and also garlic aioli. Alright guys, well that's about all we've got time for today. I just want to show you a couple more things before we go today. Number one is the TV show Hannibal. Now this has been out for a little while, but it is something that I absolutely love. Now if you are familiar with the story of Silence of the Lambs, then the name Hannibal Lecter will need no introductions. If you aren't, then don't watch the movies, watch the show first. There are two seasons out so far, Start with season one, just watch it, don't look anything up of it, don't ruin it for yourself. Once you figure it out, it's a bit of a mind-blowing thing. It is amazing, I definitely highly recommend it. Hannibal. And the second thing I want to recommend to you today is this book here, Too Much Horror Business by Kirk Hammett. Now Kirk is the lead guitar player in the band Metallica. He's also an avid horror movie memorabilia collector. And this is basically what Too Much Horror Business is. It is his jaw-dropping collection of horror movie posters. He's got uh, toys in there, he's got uh, makeup, he's got uh, signed items in there. Definitely check it out if you're into horror movies, science fiction, all that good stuff. Too Much Horror Business is the book for you. Well, honestly, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Check out all the links down below to links to everything I've talked about today. Uh, also, tweet me, email me, links will be down below for that as well. I hope you guys have an amazing week. I'll see you next Saturday. Bye!